or you clicked on the video, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. But now I need you to hit that subscribe button and I need you to ring that bell so you can get notifications for when we post videos. And I need you to smash that like button. I clearly I got wait, wait a minute, but I need you to smash that like button so we can see how far we can really take this video. We appreciate you. Enjoy the content. Let's talk really quickly. We don't have to talk long about this but uh at all. We don't have to talk long about this at all. Does that sentence make sense? Yeah. You know, it's just, we don't have to talk long. I don't know. I'm just saying the same thing over and over. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So let's uh, talk about this. Um, uh, there's a, apparently like a new nightmare on Elm Street uh, that's in the works. Uh, we we all know that we keep getting these stupid fucking reboots of these, you know, of these old uh, horror films uh, and we're all sick of it. But this came across me and for whatever reason, um, last I want to say it was probably last Halloween that I, uh, I think it was on Halloween. I was working late. And so, uh, so I randomly, and I already finished the work that I had to do. So then I was just like dicking around for like an hour. Um, and, uh, I, I ended up coming across this video talking about the entire series of nightmare on Elm street and take you from the beginning, how it all started the first nightmare on Elm street. And then all the way up until like, I think it was like, either a new nightmare or like Jason versus Freddy or some shit, whichever one was like the last one. Um, and I just remember coming with the feeling like, man, this could have been so much better than what it what what it ended up being. Cause the first one is so fucking good. The first nightmare on Elm Street was really a fucking great movie. And it had a lot of people in it that, uh, or maybe just one person that we're all, uh, Johnny <laughs> went on Depp. To, yeah. yeah, Johnny Depp ended up being a pretty, pretty well-known actor. Pretty good household name. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, he, but even Robert, uh, was it, uh, Euland or whatever his name is that, uh, that he, he, he's, um, he plays Freddy. Yeah. Um, pretty well-known. Uh, he's in a lot of different things. Um, but I just remember coming away with the feeling like, fuck, I wish they would just, cause they did try to reboot it in 2010. Mm -hmm. I believe it was, uh, with, uh, who's the guy from, uh, that was in, um, who is Rorschach in a uh, watchman. Um, yes, I know. Yeah. I, I know his face. Whoever that I don't is. have his name. Yeah. Uh, they tried to reboot it with him as Freddie. Didn't work for me. Uh, and that whole film was just terrible. I, I remember I saw that film. Yeah. It wasn't it very was, good. It was terrible. It was terrible. Um, but it, uh, and uh, Elijah Wood has, uh, and of course we all remember him from um, uh, Lord of the Rings fame, um, but as well as uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, um, the um, damn, what is it? The uh, what's the movie with Jim Carrey where it's about memory? Oh, all right, now I got to look it up. About memory, yeah. Liar, it's where, li no, not liar. No, no, no. It's like where he loses. Uh, he's trying. Him and his girlfriend are trying to like forget each other. Nah, I don't oh, think I saw that one. Oh, fantastic fucking film! And I'm ashamed that I can't even uh, think of the name. You know what Elijah Wood did that was really good as well. Mm -hmm. um, that show he had on, I believe it was on FX. It the was Eternal like, Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That's the movie. Yeah, I'm trying to never saw that shit. Yeah, is it? I think you actually love it. It's 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 really a good movie. But I, what was it made? Uh, 2004 is when this came out. The uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That's when. Yeah, I'm not going back to 2004. No, no, it it'll hold up. And Kate Winslet uh, in it, and she's always great. Um, what was that supposed to wow me? Kate Winslet's in it. Yeah, I, I she guess. let Leo drown. <laughs> no, fuck with her. <laughs> she's on no fly zone. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> Both of them could have fit, um, fit, fit on, on that the, uh, that door have, or whatever. If you had to bet your life on it, could they have done? Yeah, they could have both fit. If that was, are, a, that if was you, a if you were large there, door. If you're out there on the water, somebody was with you. The water's kind of chilly. Whew. I mean, do you yeah, I, I would let them die. <laughs> I, would, I would let them die, of course. All right, so then I, what the fuck are you talking about? Then? But <laughs> she should have saved it. This isn't about <laughs> Yeah, this guy um okay i'm um, sorry what were you gonna say about uh you said a show with uh, uh i forgot it was, was it, it, uh was it, it the show on fx yeah it was about like him and i think he I'm had this dog. like dog and he could talk yeah, yeah. to the dog uh what was it called it was called uh i don't know i just looked up i looked for it on imdb it didn't really have it um we could fucking move on sure. but <laughs> <laughs> shows how much you care about a lot yeah, of wood. care a lot <laughs> um but that was good too that was good too yeah um but so like Wes craven's estate uh, earlier this year in 2019, they re they reclaimed the rights to the uh, Freddy Wilfred. Kru Wilfred, yes, that was yeah, it. That's what the show's called. So they reclaimed the rights to the Freddy Krueger property. Yeah. Um, I I don't recall from reading the article who had the rights, but anyway, they reclaimed the rights and now they're pitching it 
out to essentially have it like be rebooted or maybe um you know for a, some writer or director to take it take that property take that asset and then turn it into like a new um uh, feature film or a tv show yeah uh i think i would and, and the thing about the whole freddy franchise is that the more comical it kind of got like clearly like the dumber it got right yeah. like they, they did it, like it went from freddy being this like omnipotent sort of like shadow in the background and he because in the original uh uh nightmare on elm street he only had like five minutes of screen time he didn't really didn't have, you didn't see freddie that much but as the series go, went on you just saw started seeing more and the more he was exposed the more dumb shit they just kept doing with him yeah. he was like he just kept doing dumb shit like he was out on the beach you know he was uh you know fucking playing video games he was like i was just like how am i supposed to be scared of this dude i'm not yeah. scared of that like uh, especially in freddie versus jason i think that's when he, be, he became like the most comical and uh, and uh, well before yeah. freddie versus jason you think so is when that, he for me that that comical. was like the peak of like all right you know freddie's kind of a clown it started to get around like like name nightmare on she like three or four is when it started to be like yeah yo, i say freddie's a clown i'm gonna have trouble sleeping at night nah, <laughs> he's, he's gonna be like what no, did you say no dude like but I, I think that's what i that's why i've opened up to like this and we're gonna talk about this when, when we talk about our 10 movies but like dude I, I think i'm coming around where it's just like unless it has to do with like some sort of like like possession thing that's when i started getting like oh my god this is a little too much for me but if it's like fucking freddie yeah no, like if Freddy was in my Freddy, I'm like, man, get the fuck go, out of my dreams, go bro. Square up I, I gotta be, bit. I gotta be up in five <laughs> yeah. hours. Like, I don't got time for this shit, Freddy. I, I don't know what horror movie I was watching. The like, or I saw like a trailer for a horror movie. Oh, oh, it was the Black Friday or Black Christmas thing that we that we uh, that we talked about earlier. Um, it was like, bruh, I don't think I'm gonna be running from this person or this thing. Like, it just looks like a thing. Like, yeah. it, it's not a. This is I, this is a Joe from up the street. Like, I'm hey, not gonna Joe, be. I got my gun on me, Joe. You better get the fuck around here, Joe. Yo, like, if I can square up, <laughs> and then with the you, movie's over. I know. Oh yeah, yeah. If I can throw if hands, I can with square you, up I'm with you. Scared. I'm not gonna. But if it's something that I can't like square up with, and all right, uh, yeah, we might have That's to banish it. I on got this. the heat on me. <laughs> the Thule, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so uh, look, I, I don't want to talk about this too long. But um, if now if this if they make this new Freddy vs. Uh, um, Freddy Krueger movie and it's like uh, set in like East Baltimore, then I'm gonna be no. You know what? You know. But even because he's got to start fucking with some people who've already got some shit man, going on up there. But that's but I think that can actually be a fucking cool way to sort of a fresh way to fucking look at Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, what if you take it from these fucking the suburbs of like, oh, Jenny had a nightmare and you yeah. know whatever. Like, no, like bring it into like just a different setting, different vibe. You know, just what, are, what are, are you the different of like things maybe, you can do? With it? Maybe you can have like a mental illness discussion. Exactly, as well. like, you as, can just have some strong social comment. Commentary, mm-hmm. and and then you can bring it into the age because now we're in the age of Jordan Peele, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Those social commentary films are gonna. You don't even need to like. Annabelle hasn't come out yet. Yet people are like, I I gotta see it immediately. Um. Uh. So I think as long as you've got something to say that's socially relevant, yeah, I think you you can ship some of these things, right? Um. So, but wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be different? And because you, you've like already done Freddy everything to, you could fucking possibly do with Freddy in that context yeah. of kids in the suburbs and yada yada. Like if Freddy were to go into the dreams of someone who actually had was their dreams were like a more darker and demented place than what even Freddy oh, was man, ready for. Now you're, and now Freddy's stuck in the dreams of this person who or, or is, what is his he, equal, right? Or or, to, or somebody who can't tell. Like, what if you have somebody who can't tell? their dream world from reality and like so a lot of the problems is is like in in or not a lot of problems but a lot of times what they do is like they'll have the characters like they'll be in a dream and then suddenly you find out they're in a dream but what if the person literally doesn't know like what what if what if oh freddie pops out of nowhere and you're like oh my god i'm in a dream now like no what if you're like i have no idea if this is real or not or a person who understands the power of their dreams kind of like an an inception well they did that with Nightmare on Elm Street 3 or 4, one of those two, or maybe even both, where they, it's called Dream Warriors, mm-hmm. where they started to like have like powers and shit within the dreams. Like it's like the, they had it, and it was fucking cool. It was yeah. actually, it's actually really cool how they, how they fucking did it. It's actually probably my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street besides maybe two. Two is just super fucking creepy. But um, in three, they had it where the kid, like the, they started to like, 
uh, like they would have dreams and then in those dreams though they would have like fucking superpowers like one of them was like super strong and the other one was like a wizard and then like and they used it to combat Freddy like so yeah. whenever he pop up they'd use their dreams They'd now eventually he overpowered them and it was just like eh that's yeah. stupid but like it was like a cool idea but then they just started to get into dumber and dumber like, shit it, from it started there. to get corny and comical and, yeah, yeah you know if they make a new one he's Freddy's gotta go into like Kanye's dreams <laughs> <laughs> Kanye is in there waiting oh, for him. Like, that's a disaster. Slavery yeah. wasn't choice. <laughs> yeah, gotcha, Freddy's bitch. Like, and Freddy's just like, man, come on. Freddy's like, like, what? <laughs> Call me and off then, guard. And then Freddy's in Kanye's <laughs> dreams and he has a MAGA hat on. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> is this my nightmare? Yeah. <laughs> Who's having the nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move the fuck on.